Hello, my name is TC Wingrove, and I lead the Product Innovation Group here at Visteon. And this is our contextual cockpit concept. Our concept features four key technologies, a low-end gesture technology, a higher-end gesture technology, a pressure-sensitive touchpad, and data analytics that enable shortcuts or macros for users. Our entry-level gesture technology is based on infrared LEDs, which is good for swiping up, swiping down, swiping left and right, or for simple rotary motions. Our high-end gesture offering is enabled by time-of-flight camera technology. It enables the creation of virtual touch planes on virtually any surface in the vehicle, and it also enables the creation of touch planes in space. The center touchpad features our pressure sensing film technology, which can be packaged with A-surface materials such as leather, vinyl, plastic, or even wood veneers. This technology enables us to move our finger up and down the pad. A light touch and finger movement will enable us to select from menu options. A slight push will show us what's playing in a menu. A firmer push will actuate the menu for us. Another feature that our touchpad enables are shortcuts. We can actuate a shortcut by touching any corner of the pad, simply dragging in a direction of the desired shortcut and letting go, which then actuates a menu. This technology was inspired by quick select menus in the video game industry, and it enables us to select menu items much more quickly and efficiently. This enables the driver to spend less time looking at the infotainment screens and more time with their hands on the wheel and eyes on the road. Another feature that our touchpad enables is handwriting recognition. This could previously only be done with capacitive sensing. We can now use a pressure sensitive pad to use our finger and form letters which then narrow down our options for menus. Data analytics that enable shortcuts or macros that make the HMI more efficient for the driver. For example, as I leave work every day the vehicle knows my GPS location, time of day, and it also can see the historical data based on what I've done at this location and this time of day, which means that it can take these menu options and combine them into one shortcut. In this case, the vehicle knows that when I've left work in the past, I've set the destination to home, I've turned on sports radio, and I've turned on the autopilot mode. If I want to accept the suggestion, I simply wave my hand in front of the gesture pad and it accepts it for me. And welcome back to the NFL today and the Thursday night preview. The first example we used featured data that was on board the vehicle. This system can also take data from off board the vehicle to create suggestions or macros as well. In this example, we receive a traffic alert notifying us that there's a traffic jam along our normal route home. The last time this happened, the vehicle knows that we rerouted to home, we turned the traffic radio on, and we sent a text alert home letting them know that we are going to be late. Now I'll swipe my hand to accept those suggestions. Checking out all those maps for us. What do you see, Jason? Hi there, Ann. We're seeing a pretty decent commute, a pretty good start here. Another feature of the shortcuts or macros is that they can be created by users, either the driver or the passenger. My passenger can select a destination for me. He can change the song that's playing. And he can even send a text message home letting them know that there's been a change of plans. Once he has completed all of the operations, he can send the macro over to me with a swipe of a hand.